hello hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i am Kit Kat ginger and today the build i want to show you is a little wintry kincaid uh thomas kincaid style cottage build i found um an image online just i think searching for thomas kincaid winter uh that gave me a little cottage that I really liked so this is inspired by that um, so we're building in Henford upon Bagley on the lot where um, the two the two fellows live I can't remember their names they're on the lot this whole time uh, during the build and I do not pay attention to what their names are but they're right down there um, on the left side of the screen um, and we're just going to build them a little cottage. Uh, the lot is 14 Nettle Lane, as you can see right up there. Um, it took me a little bit of time to figure out the shape of the roof here. I wanted it kind of slanted. And unfortunately, it looks really weird when I do switch it over to um, winter. Uh, and I do change the seasons back and forth a little bit to try to make sure that it looks good in winter and in summer with all the landscaping and the terrain paint especially. Um, but yeah, it took me a little bit of time. I adjusted the size of the build a little bit, but um, yeah, I think it ends up looking really sweet. Uh, sadly, again with the overhang that came with, uh, the roof overhang that came with Cottage Living, living that um, matches that thatched roof, it blocks so much of the door and windows um, with short wall height, but um, this came up, I think it was yesterday, I was hanging out in a stream on Twitch. Um, I also stream on Twitch, just twitch.tv backslash kitcatginger, but I was hanging out in someone else's stream, I can't remember who it was, um, but they were building a cottage and um, the... They pointed out that the the overhang on that roof does not work for a short wall height, which makes sense for a cottage. Somehow, the adjusting the terrain height and the foundation deleted my roof, so I, ha I just redid it again. Um, fairly easy, but I add those two uh, chimneys to the top. We do have a one fireplace, um, but. They, both of those were in the build, so I definitely wanted to add it, but I think it's it's a really cozy, small, like, one bedroom, one bathroom cottage. Um, using all of the terrain tools and, like, changing the height of the, the terrain kind of messes up a lot of things, um, including the landscaping. Um, as well as any rock placement. So there's a little bit of a, some issues that I have. I think I cut out some of it, but um, it just it ends up being a little a little messy. Uh, and I was trying to do this with like the the half uh, I don't remember what that shape is, but the three diagonal uh, that that little section there. I was trying to do it on the other side, and I just could not get it to work because of how where the pitch of the roof is in the middle and I want it to be centered. Um, yeah, I just play around with this a lot. Uh, on the inside, when you're in like tab mode, that little s corner that sticks out with the windows, um, it looks really weird on the roof. So uh, not that you're gonna build play in this at all, but if you do, uh, you won't probably be in tab mode to play, so that's fine. Um, it just looked weird on screenshots, so. Forgive me for that. I had a little bit of a problem figuring out the window situation on this side as well. Um, I wanted to leave it in because it really was a challenge. I was trying to like do some custom windows. Um, I put some windows in, but then eventually I change it anyway because I make that front section the bedroom. And so I um, changed it a little bit so that there's more space. Uh, but all in all, this is basically the size of the lot um, of the house. The lot? The lot can't change. I can't change the size of the lot. I tried to add um, the, you know, other roof items like the, the trim on the top and I just couldn't get it to work with the little window there. Um, so I 
do end up not using that at all, even though I think it's super cute. Um, I just couldn't get the little the little sections to all work out, and so it was scrapped. Um, and then I forgot you could have like a, a little wooden um, beam that sort of just runs along the edge of the roof. I never added it. Um, this that that wallpaper is from bowling uh, the bowling stuff pack, and I think it's really. I use it a lot. I think it's a really good um, brick wall. It's in interesting how well it works for a cottage. I'm not sure what Bowling Alley has. Um, things like that. Um, I do a little bit of terrain early on, but not like a ton um, or a little bit of landscaping. I look for, I'm finding a bridge is what I'm doing right now, and I'm just searching through debug for that um, and sizing it down because I really wanted to add like a little uh, water feature in the front, kind of like a little river, um, like say that it goes like around the whole thing. I move that so that then I can, yeah, draw my uh, little pond, creek, whatever, whatever you want to call it, that's what, um, that's what it is. It just sort of tapers off at the end, but, you know, we can imagine that it goes off the lot and joins up with another one. Um, the bridge isn't functional. I was tr going to try to, but I couldn't figure out, like, that di diagonal wasn't going to be where I wanted it to go, so it's not functional. Um, but they can walk around there on the side to get into the house, which you'll see a little bit because I have them test some things for me. Um, but yeah, the whole, the whole idea of this cottage, uh, one was just like the wintry Tim Thomas Kincaid, but yeah, the winter aspect of it. So I think that this lot looks really cute in the snow. Um, it does also look fairly nice in my opinion in the, um, you know, months where there is no snow, or the, the seasons in the game where there is no snow. Uh, but because of the terrain tools and like the different heights of the um, terrain, the hill, the hill there, um, half the time I don't know what I'm saying. Um, it does make the landscaping like jump up and look really weird. Um, but yeah, I had to go into winter to just see what some of the landscaping looked like. Um, and I initially like was going to do the entire outside um, before moving to the inside, like do all the landscaping, but it was getting so annoying that I think I just like, I was like, I'll come back to this another day. <laughs> um, and I think it took me a couple days to build this, not like a lot of time, but definitely um, a few different chunks of time to build it and I did spend in it I always say this an embarrassing amount of time on the bedroom on the inside I put a bed down and like got it all furnished and then I was like ew I hate this so I think I cut out some of that because it was just silly but I didn't cut out all of it so you get to see some of it if you like that um but yeah, I built this because, you know, it's really cold here in the Northern Hemisphere in a lot of places. Um, we are actually going to get a snowstorm today in the Midwest. Um, I live in Indiana. I don't know if I've mentioned that on here before. But I, yeah, so I tried to, again, I tried, the t I tried to use the trim. It didn't work. I hated it. Deleted it again. So it's gone forever. She's gone forever. Um... But yeah, we're getting like a snowstorm today. It's uh, the 20, December 22nd in real time. So if you're seeing this, you know, like in a year from now or six months, it will not be winter in the Northern Hemisphere. But we're gonna get a snowstorm like two days before Christmas. So um, I'm going to rush away uh, after work and just, uh, after my work day and just literally like try to get to my mom's before <laughs> it snows. I don't know how successful I'll be. Uh, right now it's above freezing, but it's going to drop well below, uh, zero in Fahrenheit. So there's going to be a flash freeze. It's going to be, it's going to be like this <laughs> where it will literally, everything will just freeze. Um, 
So here I am deciding to go to the inside because I just could not be bothered with the outside. It did take me a little while to figure out the, um, the layout of the floor plan because it is so small. That ends up being the bedroom there in the front and then I put a little bathroom at the back. Um, I think I, I do widen the whole house just a little bit to be able to add a little bit of a bigger kitchen, but it's not it's not a huge house. It's um, it's fairly small. Um, but yeah, again with the cottage living counters, I'm obsessed with them, and I cannot be bothered to not use them. Um, and I do delete that window just all together right there in the kitchen because I want to use more cabinets, and um, that was the only way to do it. <laughs> And I just didn't, I didn't like how it limited my ability to use cabinets. Um, so I do delete, delete that and then put the fridge over there on that wall. I, I also think I used, oh gosh, so embarrassing. I used that parenthood backsplash again. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Uh, I see it there and I don't think I change it. So, um. Once again, I apologize. I should definitely make different, I should build other things because they are all just, they're too, they're too much like I have to use that parenthood backsplash. That's what has to happen. That's what happens and I can't, I can't help it. Um, so I'm just laying some furniture in before I do the walls a little bit later. Um, I do move I believe delete that window over there as well. I moved, so there I am moving that out and just kind of like shifting everything over um, and making the, the inside a little bit bigger. I don't know why it was such a struggle for me to do this whole area, but it was. It's, it's so strange how difficult it was. Um, I think I end up having those two windows, yeah, just like right there. And it looks, I think that ends up looking pretty good. I delete that window because the fridge was clipping with it, so that was the main reason. Um, and the Intide's color scheme, uh, even though I'm building this like before the Christmas holiday, the inside color scheme is um, very blue, lots of blues and browns. Um, I don't think I put any like holiday decorations at all. So basically my thought was that this was just like a wintry cottage, not specifically something that is for Christmas. Although you could definitely decorate for winter fest in the game or, you know, whatever holiday, Hanukkah, whichever one you celebrate. Oh, I also messed up the roof, the ceiling, because I tried to put a platform in over here, but then it was like not enough space. So, um... Yeah, I got rid of it. And I also chose a lot smaller fireplace. I think it was the one from Snow... Uh, I don't think it was Snowy Escape, actually. I don't remember where the fireplace was from. We'll see it in a little bit. But yeah, here I am just alt-placing some of the curtains because um, I didn't... The way they were, like, fitting on the window was super weird, so I just wanted to make sure that it was... Um, you know, not as weird. I don't know what I mean by weird, but I, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I also make those windows in the back corner there where that window seat is a lot smaller, um, just because the window seat is like clipping with it. Yeah, I do end up, oh, that's from Eco Lifestyle. I end up going with the one from Eco because I think it looks really nice. It looks kind of um, rustic and uh, I think it works. But yeah, there, there are those windows that I end up going with. I think I might change them to the all white ones, but I'm not sure at this point. Um, but I've removed the platform now and so the ceiling is broken, but the platform's gone. <laughs> It did take me a little while to figure out like what couch to use as well. Um, I do end up going with this one from Paranormal uh, Stuff Pack. I, again, I use that one a lot too. Ugh. I just have like my favorite items. I should definitely like do a build where I don't use anything that 
I constantly use. Um, here I'm just looking for a little chair to put in there. I do go with that one from Cottage Living because it's a nice mustardy yellow. It matches the little pillow there on the couch. Uh, and I think it ties it in really well. Yeah, just a little base game um, end table. I go with one of the base game desks. Um, I thought about using uh, the one from Paranormal, but it doesn't have a wood swatch. So I was like, well, I wanted it to be wood, like a this pale wood color. Um, so instead of another base game item, and it does have that blue, which I really liked. I was like, ooh, that works perfectly. Like it kind of matches the the little window seat from Cats and Dogs. So I, I thought that was a good um, choice, <laughs> choice, good choice on my part. Um, I deleted a little bit of me looking through lamps because it was literally just for to find a lamp to go on the desk and um why why did it take so long that's a great question i don't know um uh there's no tv in this build uh, but there is that little computer the one that looks like a typewriter that's on the desk so that's good for your sims fun and other other things and then we have like a bookshelf um and i think i end up putting um not a radio it's the one that looks like a gramophone or whatever I put that on the back of the couch I don't think it's functional but I'm not a hundred percent sure um, I really like that fancy looking um, bookshelf from University I love the trim on the top I think it's just a nice little touch I also don't think there's an outdoor trash can which was my bad <laughs> I definitely could have added one somewhere uh, maybe maybe I should if you know if you download this and you want to play in it you can put one like down by the road um, I also never moved the mailbox so it's just down there on the left side of the bottom at the bottom of the lot uh, which kind of makes sense some people if you have like a really long driveway um, to the road your mailbox will be down there and so you'll have to like walk to go get it um, or drive if you have a car although there are no cars in the Sims 4 um, I don't know why it took me so long to figure out how to decorate. I used that little corner shelf from, it's a base game shelf, but it's the same vibes as, <laughs> as the holiday, um, cabin where it took me forever to find the one from cats and dogs. So I think I did cut out a little bit of that because again, I think I forgot where it was. The chicken is a staple in any cottagey build, honestly, any kitchen lately even if it's not even if it's like a modern or like a mid-century mid-century sometimes i try to i try to say words and they don't they don't happen words are hard you guys uh definitely definitely a struggle but here i am just finishing adding a little bit of clutter i think i had a little bit more later on the walls because i'm like realizing that it's a little bare but um, I go with a beige wallpaper in here, and then I think I do a little bit of this, um, the one from Cottage Living again, in here, just like as a few, um, like, it's not really pops of color, but like kind of added detail. So part of this is the Cottage Living wallpaper there, and then the rest is uh, just the beige. Uh, which I think ends up looking pretty nice. Um, I use a lot of the things from Cats and Dogs in here, like the toilet and the, or the kit, the bathtub and the sink, I believe, because they do match each other. Um, I wish the sink wasn't the whole bowl of the sink is like a copper color, which is kind of weird. But uh, the bathroom ends up being like a blue and brown and gold situation. Uh, which I don't normally do, so this is where I've stepped out of my comfort zone, in the bathroom. <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever used that wallpaper before, um, or the flooring that goes with it. So, I thought it was a nice, like, cozy kind of vibe, so that's what we go with in here. Uh, I kind of hate that curtain in the bathroom. I don't know if I actually change it. I think I leave that one, but I kind of hate it.
It took me like a weird amount of time to figure out the lighting in here as well. I go with those that are from, mm, I think Get to Work, which is strange. Oh yeah, I changed it to that one. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Um, I think I add a couple of shelves in the bathroom too over the toilet where I just sort of alt place them. Um, and then put some decor on it so that it looks a little bit, you know, more lived in, a little bit more homey. Um, some plants, like candles, the little bathroom items. I think I do lower the shelves so that they're um, not up so high. Um, I'm not like short, but if I was someone who had like a really tall shelf in the bathroom, like who knows what would go up there. Just stuff I'd never need. And I'm like, I'm five, six, so, um, so I'm not like a giant, but I'm not short. My mom and twin sister are like five, two. So I do get like tall girl a lot from my mom, but that's literally just because she's short. <laughs> um, if you're short, uh, do you rely on your tall friends to get stuff for you or do you use like a little ladder? My mom just makes me get stuff, <laughs> uh, which I am going to her house later today. I really, really hope that the traffic is okay and then that we don't lose power. Um, that's kind of what I'm most nervous about. Um, I'm taking my pets with me so everyone is safe. I have a dog and a cat and they'll be coming uh, as well as like lots of like warm layers and blankets. I'm taking my Udi, which is like a blanket sweatshirt. I'm taking that with me because I'm like, I'm scared that I'm going to be cold. Um, and then I really also hope my apartment, like, the power doesn't go out here. Uh, but I will be leaving all the sinks dripping just in case and keeping an eye on the local uh, power company just to make sure. Not that I don't know if I would come and do anything about it because it is supposed to be a snowstorm. So, um, it might not be the most, you know, ideal situation to drive over in. And it's not like I can do anything if the power goes out, so... I'll leave all the sinks dripping, so hopefully there's no, like, water main breaks, but also hopefully the power doesn't go out at all. Um, here I'm just adding, again, some more clutter in the kitchen. I'm adding those boxes. I love those freaking boxes. They go everywhere. <laughs> I think it just, like, I don't know what you would keep in there in your kitchen, but, like, knickknacks, why not? Oh, I deleted it. Never mind. <laughs> I do love that box though. You've seen me try to use it so many times. I deleted it. I put a picture in the little tea thing up there. Uh, and I think that works. I tried to add some more clutter into the living room. Uh, just again to make it look lived in. Have a little dirty mug there on the coffee table. There's the, like, is it a gramophone? I don't know what it is. But it's like a little stereo. It's a fancy old timey stereo. Um, and the living space is pretty pretty much coming together. I do change that paranormal um, collection of images, photos, whatever they are, for one from Cats and Dogs. Okay, there I cut out looking for a bed. Um, I don't even end up using this bed. <laughs> uh, but this is basically the color scheme, I think. It just, I couldn't figure out like the rug situation. I was trying to make it like gold and blue. And that wasn't working, so the whole thing was just, I don't know why it took me so long. Um, you'll see me, like, f look like I was finished, and then come back later and, um, and get some, <laughs> get a different bed. I also cut out coking for a rug, because you will not believe, I mean, maybe you will, how long it took me to find a rug. Because, like, the wallpaper situation just ends up being, like, a very, a very big struggle for me. Like, I clipped a lot out of this section of the build, and I don't know why it was so hard. Um, it does end up being, looking pretty much like this. I add a little bit more clutter. I think I had another bookshelf and a little chair in the corner. Um, there's not a lot of skill building items. <laughs> I should have added some like knitting stuff or like, I, I don't think I had an easel, which is like a go-to. So there's not a ton of, of uh, like skill building, building items in here. 
um, because I just didn't think it fit the space very well at the time. Um, just looking for some plants and stuff to add. I had that little watering can by the door. Delete that random bucket that I had. I thought it was a cute idea at first, but I got rid of it. Once again, those sunflowers are making an appearance. <laughs> I think I do end up going with that wallpaper though. Um, I might change it. I literally, honestly, I don't remember. I. I built this a little while ago and then I was editing it, did not finish the voiceover yet, so I'm trying to get this to put, be able to post on Christmas Day. So we'll see if that happens. If not, you might get a different build on Christmas Day. <laughs> um, and you might see this one later. Who knows? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to add some more clutter and make it look, again, lived in. Uh, that's really the my goal of most of my decisions when I'm building is that it looks lived in. <laughs> or it looks like it would be comfortable to live in. Which I think is a lot of people's goal when they're just building to build and not necessarily building for a specific family. Although when I'm building for like a let's play, I do add a lot of clutter in. <laughs> um... Okay, yeah, I think I changed it to that blue bed. Honestly, I cannot confirm or deny. I think I do go with that blue bed. I think I cut out a little bit because I was just messing around. Um, so I add that so they can add the icicle decorations. I literally, it makes me want to cry how the icicles or any of the, the Christmas light decorations do not go all the way down to the end of the roof who allowed this to happen <laughs> um, I'm just adding a little fence out here so that the, the fence lights um, can be on there too because I thought that was a really nice touch uh, to add more lights not that they brighten up the actual build but I think they look really nice really nice and wintry um, do you, if you put up outdoor, like, holiday lights, do you leave them up for a little while after Christmas or after the holiday that you celebrate? Or do, you, do they come right down? I haven't put up outdoor uh, lights since probably I was in high school. Probably helped my mom with that. My twin and I really liked to decorate for Christmas. Um, but I stopped doing that when... <laughs> When I went to college and I just, you know, right before Christmas, you don't really want to do it. So I think we just put the tree up because she would wait for us to get home <laughs> before we put the tree up. Ooh, yeah, we had some problems with the rocks here. They were floating constantly and it was making me sad. It was making me sad. Um, like these little paving stones. Yeah, here I go. Okay, this is what happened. I deleted that bed. Um, I don't even think I go with that one. Yeah. It, some of it got deleted. <laughs> uh, I think that is the final bed, the one with that pattern on it. It's a base game bed. Um, I think that one is the final bed. I could also be wrong though. Um, I was trying to layer the rugs like I've done before so that adds a little bit of a little bit of interest in different colors um, I need to stop doing the same things over and over again am I right <laughs> but I do think it looks nice so that's probably why I keep doing it um, those flower boxes are really annoying because they don't look like they were snowy um, but I left them anyway because I wanted to I don't know why it took me so long to figure out what gate to use as well. Um, I just went with the one from Cottage Living that goes with it. I think I redrew, yeah, redrew the path. As far as the plants and like the debug, I'm just adding in a bunch because that way the ones on the lower level make the stuff that's just like floating look like it's not floating. 
and I did try to like flatten it out but it didn't work so I just added a bunch of landscaping around so that it looked like covered and flat um, and I think the last this last bit I do is just the landscaping um, I don't think I go back into the house it does take me a long time to landscape it once again it's embarrassing how long it takes me to landscape so I think I did cut out a little bit of me looking for those all those rocks because yeah because I didn't it, it just didn't end up being what I wanted it to be so we got that out of the way so that you don't have to watch me sadly be sad about placing rocks um, and then deleting all of them but so I do get some rocks around the bridge here um, and then start adding a little bit more landscaping with bushes again it makes it kind of hard because it's winter it looks weird um, so I just tried to make things that aren't like just st just sticks coming out of the ground I tried to use those um, and I do add quite a bit of landscaping and again it does look nice in the winter and in the seasons where things would be like flowering so spring and summer uh, got lots of little evergreen trees around I think it looks nice um, very nice and cozy and like in the woodlands I know that the trees in this world um, the evergreens that are here they have like a super low poly count so they look kind of weird so I did not use those um, I used some of the base game ones that look more slightly more detailed um, and then I do add in those trees that are like pre-lit trees um, here you can see there was like a, a lighting change because I cut out there was a, some struggles with the landscaping that I cut out and so then it's just immediately dark um, but I put in some of these little post lights and I think they look super cute um, it looks cute and like cozy and whimsical I like it um, and yeah this build was a struggle but I do like it a lot so I hope that you enjoy it um, there is a little bit more landscaping to come but I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like subscribe so that you can make sure you keep up with any future builds turn off that turn on the notification bell um, so you can be notified whenever I have a new video um, I hope you have a great rest of your week a great day and I will catch you in my next video. Have a good one. See ya. <laughs>